is very passionate about the presentation of the life in Kenya. So for him to have sent us is a demonstration that every life of every can matters to him. And to his administration. We're here to make sure that you're being given the best in terms of medical treatment. And so we are here with the medical director the government to take care of your treatment. You don't need to worry about that. And to make sure that every aspect of Medicare is given to you. So relax yourself. God save your life. Because there are quite a lot of people, even some people will be in their homes. God that made it that that heavy container will land on all of you and you get your still alive. Nothing will cut short of your life. Nothing will terminate your life. You will fulfill the number of your Please, um, we would like to have your details because we want to engage more with you to make sure that you join your love for us and celebrate this message. I have destroyed every form of the example. You will respond to treatment within the shortest possible time. So how are you feeling today? Where is the pen more? Your hands? Are they on the x-ray? So what did we have to do? I remember. Okay, so, so you people never suspected in the um, who was ahead to be um, the trailer driver or all the people who were just pulling back all side by side? Side by side. Mm -hmm. So what really happened? It, it's just... Mm -hmm. I was trying to pull back and I fell. Okay. Before yeah. it fell off. Yeah. The other one, you saw it falling. Okay. Sorry about that. We are here to let you know that His Excellency is serving my own family. And an investigation, a total investigation of the Cardinal to know what immediate and remote causes of that accident so that it doesn't happen again. His Excellency. Is passionate about the protection of the life and property of the people. So, for us to come here is an indication that it values your life like it does for every other. It's a caring father, the father of the state. We would have loved to be here personally, but it's not enough because of some very urgent. State matters. And so we are here to represent him to let you know that he wants the best in terms of treatment for you and others involved, in particular, but for every Akian in general. That's why when he came into office, one of the first things he did was to declare a state of emergency in the health sector, the education sector, in fact, in the infrastructural development sector. And I want to let you know that every aspect of your medical care is there to be able to take care of that. Okay? And then uh, to ascertain the degree of 
the injury they all sustained. And what do you make out of this whole thing? Like, what's the easiest cause of the accidents that happened uh, the other day? Well, in the first place, uh, what happened is quite unfortunate. Um, necessary investigations will be carried out, and um, we want to find out what the immediate and the remote cause of that accident. His Excellency is quite sudden, but thank God it's just only one life that was lost. Um, well, it's not only, but um, we just thank God it could have been worse than that. Uh, but we thank God. I've moved around, like you said, to um, check out all the hospitals where they were kept, and uh, they are all doing very well. Uh, we have made sure that all the key uh, hospitals in Abia State, including the Federal Medical Center, whom I have spoken with the uh, Chief Medical Director, uh, in case there is any need for any of them to be transferred uh, for any emergency situation. But so far, there is none. All of them are doing very well, and we do believe that very soon they will all be discharged. Sir, are there any measures put in place by the state government to stop the flow of crime? Obviously, measures uh, will be put in place. There have been immediate uh, measures. Um, um, you will discover that um, the uh, senior special assistant to the governor of public communication has already made that available to the press. That, um, you know, very heavy duty trucks, uh, their movement will be reduced so that they can fly during night time to allow free flow of traffic and you know that uh, if this had not happened during daytime we would not have seen this level of casualty so quite a lot of measures will be put in place but it will be an outgrowth of the investigation that uh, will be carried out and that will be very extensive and thorough okay so, sir well, can we officially have the number of injured victims well for now you have uh, already joined us uh, we have seen about 10, 11 of them injured, having uh, various, uh, you know, stages of, in, you know, bruises, bruises and uh, injuries. It's only one casualty, one that, uh, uh, you know, we could not rescue the life because when the uh, accident occurred, the impact was so heavy that, um, uh, you know, the, the person died on the spot. But apart from that, um, others that um, have either minor injuries or that require any form of uh, surgery, uh, that will be taken care of. And uh, so, so far, about uh, 11 of them that I found. So you were assuring those uh, victims that the government will take care of the abuse. Can you confirm it? Yes. Um, you know, this is a very caring government. The government of Dr. Alex Oti is a very caring uh, government. Um, already, uh, he has communicated his... Uh, uh, you know, sadness over this incident. And uh, these are uh, some of the emergencies that they never themselves prepared for. So it will not be appropriate to allow them uh, to go through this level of pain and also the pain of looking for money to take care of their medical bills. So being a very caring government, this government uh, will take care of their medical bills. And we have communicated that to all the hospitals and the medical uh, uh, the chief medical directors where we visited that they don't need to bother the people, uh, the victims uh, of this accident uh, with uh, medical bills. The government will take care of that and also make sure that uh, they are resuscitated. Okay, sir, finally, please, I don't know. Um, so one of the things that uh, there were this uh, rumor information that response team didn't really come early enough for uh, going forward. We don't pray for such incidents, but in case it happens, we want the assurance that we get in that that would be quicker response. Well, it is not true that the respond team did not, res uh, you know, respond uh, in a timely manner. It's not true. Otherwise, the casualties would have been much more than this. Immediately, this was, uh, I mean, this accident occurred. Uh, the uh, uh, the homeland security, uh, the uh, senior special assistant to the governor in Abba. Uh, rejuvenation and the, even the road traffic uh, and safety management teams they all came together you know the commissioner for transport all the agencies of government mobilized immediately and you know that this is one government that takes immediacy of action you know as a passion so everything has been done 
if it were to be in other places up to now, they have not been, you know, uh, evacuated and, uh, you know, the carnage removed. You, you already accompanied us around and you even went to the scene of the accident. You can't even see any other death to, 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 to underscore the fact that, uh, you know, the, the response uh, team did what they are supposed to do within the constraints, you know. If perhaps it were, it were to be a place like Lagos, where you have a lot of, um, you know, heavy duty equipment like uh, cranes and other things, perhaps um, it would have been a little bit fast, faster. But here, you know the situation of roads and all of that, and what His Excellency has been doing to make sure that these things are ameliorated. So I think so far so good, the response team did what they were supposed to do, given the constraints they faced. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Professor, for many, for, I would say for 23 months, this place was abandoned. Uh, it was getting up to two years. It was abandoned and staff visited, occasion arising from not the of salary. But you can see now that confidence is coming back and they will believe that it can actually get better. So, sorry, we sorry, sir. We take, we take very good care of. We have all the specialties that can take care of the patient, but, uh, and we can assure you that uh, we critical government. We can assure you of the people. Okay, sir. So have you personally or your team have your you know team been able to go around to ascertain the level of um uh, of injuries sustained well, we and hear. what? And what you know the, the the patients should be expecting when are they leaving this place? Sir? You see, why are we here? This is an orthopedic surgeon of global repute. So I'm a physician. So we, I told you that we have all the specialties involved in their care, right? You know, on ground here. So that's all. And you know, with age, uh, fractures are involved. We don't expect a immediate or speedy or two day recovery. So these are cases that we have to observe and then take care of multi-systemic involvement. So uh, the most important thing is that if you watch, today the present is better today than yesterday, yes. and that is evidence of uh, improvement. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you.